One of the things that I tell all my clients is you need to reflect on your last quarter. You see, if you don't reflect, you're never gonna grow. Most people get stuck in their current reality trap, especially real estate agents. They never reflect and have a look exactly where their business came from in the last three months. So I dare you now to sit down, get a pen, get a paper, and work out where every market appraisal has come from in the last three months. Was it letterbox drops? Was it a referral? Was it a past client? Was it networking? Was it social media? And start working out where are the areas of your business that are working and where are the breakthroughs that you can implement for the next 90 days. Because if you don't reflect, you're gonna be stuck in this reality trap of still earning the same income that you're earning last quarter, the quarter before, the year before that, and the year before that. So this is about making some breakthroughs and reflecting. The other thing I'd like for you to do is rate yourself out of 10 in these areas. Number one, listing presentation. On a scale of one to 10, what would you have given yourself for the last quarter? I was talking to a client and he gave himself five out of 10. And I said, why five? And he said, well, I actually lost three listing presentations. And then you ask yourself, what do you need to do to improve over the next quarter to make one significant thing or change in your listing presentation? And then he came up with, I've just got to get better at follow-up within the next 24 to 48 hours. I need to put a system in place. I sort of leave them there and I sort of ring them in about four or five days if I remember to. So you need to have some sort of structure around his listing presentation. The next bit you want to rate yourself from one to 10 is buy a management plan. How good are you managing your buyers in this marketplace? Do you have a plan or you don't have a plan? Give yourself a rating. Choose one thing that you will implement over the next quarter to improve in your buyer management. The next thing is vendor management. How good are you managing your vendors? Are they in control or are you in control? Do you have a framework around vendor management? And if you don't, what are the areas that you need to implement this coming quarter around vendor management? The other areas that you want to also look is prospecting. What are you going to give yourself out of 10? Another client said to me just recently, zero. I said, why zero? He said, Claudio, because I was so busy last quarter selling everything. I was so focused on talking to vendors, buyers, trying to put the deal together, negotiate, and I forgot to prospect. Listen to these key words. Super achievers spend 80% of their time creating income and 20% of their time servicing that income. Sometimes us as real estate agents, we tend to spend 80% of that time servicing that income and 20% creating that income. And then agents wonder why. They're like rich agent, poor agent, rich agent, poor agent. Let's be that rich agent, richer agent, rich agent, richer agent, and never get to that poor so you don't have those high dips and lows which has been on that roller coaster ride. So mark yourself in that prospecting what you think you did out of 10. Then finally, just a couple of other areas that I would recommend that you would do, health. Think about what time do you go to sleep? Do you know that if you go to sleep after 11 o'clock at night and you get less than eight hours sleep a night, that you're less than 30% productive during the day? So think about what time you go to bed, that's health. Your eating habits, what are you eating at the moment? What's your diet like? And are you working out? Are you exercising, walking, running, going to the gym, doing Pilates, yoga, whatever it may be? Because here's the thing, when you work out, you feel like you have more energy. And you know what, when you have that energy, you project that to people and people feel it, okay? So think about your health. Think about rating yourself out of 10 with your family, relationships right now. Where are they out of 10? What's one thing you can improve this quarter about your relationships with family and personal relationships? And finally, what you want to rate yourself out of 10 is spiritually. Like, are you unplugging every day and just giving yourself some me time? They're the areas that you want to look if we're going to really improve and go towards growth. Did this video serve you? You can do one of two things. Go and join our social media platforms and follow us, or simply head over to claudioncina.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter, and you'll also find some extra tips, strategies, and ideas to continue the journey to growth.